Hey YouTube, it's Textbook on Bad. And well, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to completely code your MySpace layout and get it up on your white on your MySpace. I almost said YSpace there. <laughs> Alright, well, um, so I'm gonna be going in great detail on how to code everything. Um, everything from changing your font color to moving your MySpace banner. Now, uh, I do have two videos on how to make your own custom MySpace layout, part one and part two. Now, you guys want to watch those two videos before watching this video. Um, just in case you didn't know that I had those two videos, you want to watch those. Um, what else? What else? Uh, oh, also, if you've been using someone else's video tutorial or someone else's MySpace code, um, you want to stop using their MySpace code. Use my MySpace code because it'll just be easier to use. Um, because I'm gonna be when I'm going over the when I'm going over everything in this tutorial, it's gonna be easier because everything will look the same as it is on on this tutorial. So yeah, you wanna get the MySpace code from me, and there are two MySpace codes: one for a normal MySpace and one for a music MySpace. Um, both the links to those codes will be in the video description. All right, so once you have gotten the code, you want to go to the edit profile section of your MySpace. Here I have text pro combat MySpace open. Now, um, you want to clear out everything in your um, just yeah, you just want to clear out everything and copy and paste it onto um, WordPad or Notepad or whatever, just so you have a backup of it, um, just in case you mess up or um, you accidentally did something wrong. You always have a backup, just so you can copy and paste paste this back into your MySpace and then everything's back to normal. So once you have that backup set up, uh, you want to go and copy and paste the MySpace um, uh, source text that I gave you guys and then just um, uh, paste it to where you want it to, where it has to go actually. So there's one that has to go under the or in the about me section and then there's another one that has to go in the who would I like to meet section. Now you want to copy both of those individually and paste them in the sections that they need to go. Most of the editing is going to be done in the about me section so you don't really want to worry too much about the who'd I like to meet section. Also I just want to apologize beforehand if I talk a little fast in this video. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's going to go over um, 10 minutes so I'm going to have to split it into two parts but I'm um, just going to talk a little fast because it's worth giving it a try to get it under 10 minutes. Alright, so the first thing you should see, once you have copied and pasted both those things, um, in the About Me section here, by the way, the first thing you should see, um, it says Background Image URL, and it's going to say URL to Background Image. Now, again, this is it's only going to say this if you are using my code because I edited this to say that um, for you guys to know where to put all the um, direct links and everything. So. Um, again, you want to use my code because it has all the directions and it'll just make everything easier. Alright, so um, again, if you're using my code, the first thing you should see, it says URL to background image in parentheses. And if you did watch those two videos that I suggested you guys to watch in the beginning of this video, you should know that all you, all you need to do, do is go to tinypic.com um, and upload the different pictures, all the different files get the direct link to those files and then just or the images and then just paste it right there now um, well that's basically what you just need to do so um, also another helpful tip you want to make sure to use tinypic.com because other stuff like um, let's say photobucket.com they tend to resize your images and that's really not good because then it's gonna make your MySpace just look messed up so you want to use tinypic.com upload all your images get the direct links to them and then um, paste them to wherever they need to go so the first thing it says you are all to background image you just want to delete everything that it says right there except for the parentheses leave those there and then type in the direct link now I'm just gonna make a fake link right here slash background alright so scroll down after you're done with that um, well after you're done with that you basically have your background image set scroll down um, uh, just keep scrolling and the next thing you should see in parentheses it says background image URL and parentheses URL to name image now this is um, for those of you who don't know I'm gonna use Tom's MySpace as an example now right here it says Tom so uh, right here where it says Tom it's his name um, it bas it's basically gonna put an image right over that so you can make us say your name in like a fancy font or you could put some graphics designs whatever you want and you could put an image right over that 
So that's basically what that is. So put the thing. So http colon slash slash tinypick.com slash name. Now again, this is the fake link. You want to make sure you put the real direct link right there. All right, so scrolling down a little more, you're going to see another thing in parentheses. It says URL to network banner image. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what that is. Um, right here where it says your mood or your status or whatever, this is your network banner. And it's going to put an image over that. And if you don't want an image over that or you don't want an image over your name, if you just leave it blank, it's going to automatically go to default settings. So you don't have to worry about that. And so put the direct link right here. Fake link again, http colon slash slash tinypick.com slash let's say tsgb. Alright, so actually let me change that. Network banner just so I know what it is. Alright, so scroll down a little bit more and you're going to see URL to contact table. I'm pretty sure you guys know what that is, but if you don't, um, it's right here where it says send message, add to friends, all that right there. After you're done making the image for this, upload it to tinypick.com, then put the direct link right there. So, put a fake direct link. Make sure you guys put the real one, though. Uh, Alright. And scroll down a little more. The last thing you're going to need is the banner. This isn't necessary, but um, if you don't want a banner, just leave everything blank and you won't get a banner. But a banner, um, not a lot of MySpaces have this. This isn't a normal MySpace default thing. Um, it's a new thing and it's basically just to show off your MySpace um, layout or profile or whatever. So after you're done uploading the image to TinyPit, put the link. <clears throat> Alright, so so far there's been nothing new, all the basics. Now I'm going to go further in detail. So let's go all the way back up again in the About Me section. And where you put the background image URL for the main background image, if you look right above that, it's going to say background color, RGB, that it's going to have three zeros. Now what this is, is basically um, just for some random reason, if this image doesn't load, or you accidentally deleted the image or whatever, and um, it can't get this image to load, um, these, this, is, this, is some, this is coding RGB, red, green, blue. This is coding for a certain color. And this certain color will show up just in case this image right here doesn't load for some random reason. Now, just in case you don't know what 000 means, this is going to be set as the default. Again, only if you're using my code. It's going to be set as the default 000, and that stands for the color black. Now, um, I have this website right here. The link to this website will be in the video description. And it basically gives you all the, all the numbers for uh, all the different types of colors. So right here you see that the color, let's say the color blue is 0, 051, 255. Or the color white is 255, 255, 255. And well yeah, so basically you just want to get the three numbers off of any color that you like, that you see here. Um, any color that you like, you want to get those three numbers and put it right here. Just in case the, the main background image doesn't load that color will load as a, as a, a backup. So um, that's that. Let's scroll down a little more. And you'll see, um, you'll start seeing a couple stuff that says table, 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 table. And you're just going to be seeing a lot of words that say table. Now, um, there, there, you're going to see, um, again, two main RGB things, red, green, blue things. Um, you're going to see one right here. Uh, border color and then it's gonna say RGB again and then if you look a little down and then it's gonna say another one background color RGB now these are another two main things that people keep asking me now what this is right here is boxes now a lot of people keep seeing these black boxes on their MySpace and they think it's a glitch and they ask me about it and it just looks really ugly now, um, if you guys don't know what boxes I'm talking about, is it's um, MySpace's default. It's not a glitch. It's not anything like that. It's MySpace's default. As you can see, there's a box around Tom's MySpace URL. There's a box around.